digital solutions are very important for humanitarian action and will increasingly be important. One, one good example of a digital solution uh, that can help us to shape a stronger humanitarian response is our Mixed Migration Monitoring Initiative, where we do thousands of interviews with people on the move on all the major routes. And we have already used it to shape a stronger protective response, moving people to the border between Afghan and Iran, because their people face violations and are beaten up, moving a stronger response to Libya, because we, with our data, could understand how many more women and girls were captured and left behind uh, inside uh, Libya, uh, doing child protection in Southern Africa by using our monitoring uh, mechanism uh, and the surveys we do with thousands uh, of people. Here we can use digital solutions to become much more transparent. We can use it to give people a voice so they can influence what we do. They can participate in shaping better humanitarian uh, solutions. We must protect the data uh, we collect. Uh, it can be data of a very sensitive nature when it is refugees or people uh, in, in severe danger that may face uh, violations or persecutions uh, if the data is uh, leaked. And we must also deal with the ethical uh, issues. When we collect data on people on the move and we now use to do predictive modeling of when migration uh, flows will suddenly occur, then this data can be used to a protective response, but it can also be used to block borders and keep people out. And these ethical questions must constantly be dealt with and discussed. We must use digital solutions in our humanitarian action to be more transparent, uh, to allow people to have a voice uh, so they can influence what we do uh, and to be more accountable. And here digital solutions can really provide us with a stronger humanitarian response.